Hi and welcome to an Elite Gaming Raid Guide. In this Raid Guide we'll be covering the tactics for the fourth boss of Caragas Palace on hard mode, the Heavy Fabricator. Now, I'm trying to give a brief summary because there's quite a lot going on in this fight, but the first point I'll make is a lot of other guides we've seen talk about putting one person on top with sprint for the buttons and two people. I think the fight's been overcomplicated in a lot of tactics videos and we found that when we first um, tried it with different tactics. The tactics we've got now seem to be sort of non-chaotic and quite organised, so I hope this does help some people. So let's start with the buttons. So the entire aim of this fight um, and the key thing here is ensuring you can stack towers in the correct positions over the vents and hit the boss with the debuff ASAP. The fastest way to do this, and you know, there's no question of one person versus three pe people, is three people being on the buttons. They can just stand on the buttons and hit them and move a tower within you know easily 10 or 15 seconds from starting the combinations, if not less. Um, so, the way we structure that is we have one healer in the middle and a DPS on the left button and a DPS on the right button. Um, we don't worry about bringing anyone across from the left button to the right platform to DPS the boss because you're moving the towers that fast that DPS shouldn't be an issue at all. Um, so, put your stronger DPS if possible on the right button and your slightly weaker DPS on the left. It, it doesn't really matter too much. The only reason for that is because you get the damage buff um, when the boss is under the right vent. This means the people on the buttons don't have to move too much, so don't detonate as many proximity mines, um, therefore reducing stress on the healers and less chance of people dying on the buttons. That's about it um, for the button presses. Use three up there. Uh, the big tip I'll give you is before the fight, you know, activate the buttons and just get into rhythm of moving the towers from left to right, right to left, because you'll see in this video that's all we do. We never use the middle tower and for a summary of people that don't know, the, the left vent when you fire it will give the boss, um, it'll debuff his armor stacks first of all, uh, but it'll also remove the damage increase buff that um, the boss gets from, de uh, from firing the right vent. The right vent, as I've just said, will debuff the boss, give the raid a damage buff, but also give the boss a damage buff. If you use the middle vent, um, which we've sort of never done, but I believe what it does is pulls all the proximity mines and stun drones in and detonates them, I think it will also debuff the boss, but I can't confirm that, sorry. Um, don't I don't see the middle one as being useful at all, so please do not use it. I think, if anything, it's going to cause you issues because it's probably going to cause deaths. Then onto the conveyor belt. So you've got five people left with three people on the buttons, one healer, two tanks, and two DPS. The only issue you've got on the conveyor belt are the stun drones and also the reticule that targets one person. If it hits them, it does huge AoE to the people around them. So the way we handle this is we put one tank on the front side of the conveyor belt, one tank on the back, just to rotate between each other. Those two tanks, all they need to watch is the stacking uh, debuff that they're going to get. We tend to swap around five or six stacks. You can go beyond that, um, but five or six stacks keeps the stress off the healers and seems to allow for a decent amount of time DPSing. Um, then on the left we have one DPS, and on the right we have one DPS. Then we just have a healer loose on the conveyor belt, and it's as simple as that. When the boss has um, the armor debuff, everybody DPSs it. As soon as the armor de uh, debuff goes and armor stacks start coming up, the tank will then move the boss if he's in the right position to the left position or in from the left position to the right position. It's as simple as that. While the tank's moving the boss and positioning it, get all of your DPS then to clear up the stun drones that are on the conveyor belt. And if you don't want to DPS some of them, you can just knock them back um, off of the conveyor belt so they're out of range of you and you haven't got that problem. Uh, other than that then, all it's about is get in between left and right as quickly as possible it gives you adequate time to clear up the ads um, and then just maximize your dps and save your cooldowns for the right hand vent again you get the damage increase on the right hand vent so use all your cooldowns then on the left hand vent you'll be doing left damage the general rule of thumb look to be doing around 20 percent damage on the right vent and around 10 percent damage on the left vent if you're following that you shouldn't have any problems um, 
We'll show you how it's done now in the video or how we do it with our tactics. I wish you the best of luck. Please put any comments, um, any suggestions. We know there's different tactics for this boss, um, but please feel free to comment and enjoy the video. Okay, call in position. Nil right. Liz centre, jab left. Perfect. Okay, DPS in position. Perfect. Stick to those sort of areas. Fire when you're ready. Three, two, one, fire. Bloodlust stays up. Move to the button. Nearly. Jabba. Nearly. Jabba. Nearly. Nearly. Hey, just when you're ready, I'll get here. Jabba. Nearly. We are ready. We are ready. Stay away. Play the platform. Fire, fire. Uh, I need a heal. See, that's the mark on me, I'm moving away, and the explosion happens away from everyone else. Nearly. Stun drones are a bit late coming up. Nearly. Sometimes they don't come. Nearly. Jabba. Nearly. Play the platform, Nearly. play the platform. Play the platform. Play it, fire, fire, fire. The DPS, the mob, that is. Move in the boss. Drone You're getting stunned. No, no, we need to take back. Take back. I'll finish the drone and then I'll turn. No, need to. Wait, 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 wait. Play one. the platform, play the platform. Dresden Taunt, fire now, fire now. DPS the mob on your platform. Stun drone. While you don't attack. Nili. Jabba. Boss position. Boss Nili. Jabba. Nili. I taunted. Jabba. Nili. Play the platform. Play the platform. Fire. fire, fire, fire. Eight stack. Okay, I'm taking him now. Pressers. Buttons. Moving the boss. Nearly. Nearly. Yabba. Nearly. That's Vex, that Nili. mark on you. Stay How many wide. stacks do you have, Jack? Four. We are ready to fire. Um, Guys, we are ready to fire. Stay away. Okay. Oh. Take him, fire, fire, fire. Get 
ready. Move in the box. Keep the FPS in our way. Yeah, on the G drop. Jabba. Jabba. Play the platform, uh, play the platform. Fire, fire, fire. Fire. <laughs> Bloodlust up now. Hey, you just need to keep shooting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next cube. Boss. Versus. Nearly. Jabba. I'm good, Drez. I've got this. Nearly. I'm getting stunned. Jabba. Can I push, push the drone from Jabba? Nearly. Um, I'll push you behind you. Stay away, stay away. Jabba, there are two more. Okay. okay. Fire, fire, fire. Oh, that would tap. Focus the boss. Go through his shields. Seven stacks tall, please. I just told you to hit an AOE tone if you want to. Yeah, I got it. Cheers. Keep. Good job, everyone. Good job. Hold up. Someone raise me, please. Yeah. Got a bit uh, messy. Yeah. Ah, good job. We were caught in someone else's blast.